Oh, my name is Narciso, Narciso, Narciso Torres. I am the president of the uh, El Pilar Forest Garden Network and uh, also the, the president of the Canan Cash um, organized group. You know, I, I, I'm trying to, to promote this, uh, this, this culture of mine that uh, is an indigenous culture, Maya culture, gardening and, and, and a sustainable way of living or, and um, also promoting reforestation. It contains sugar inside. Take a critic on the top if you want to, to sample one. And the leaves are are, are boiled for um, for making a tea for when people have um, very bad cough. Sugar? Mm hmm Very sweet. Very sweet, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the custard apple. Uh -huh. Liquid that the bark have tend to make the swelling uh, go very fast down. This is a life everlasting plant, making swells Swelling areas go faster. Good for asthma, if you have them, you could have eat them plain with a little pinch of salt daily. Eye infection you will uh, use one of these leaves um, and, and pound it light, light, lightly, not to break them up, and then make them soft, and then you put it over the air, eye. Calabash. In Calabash. English. In Calabash in English. For us, a drinking vessel. People take, uh, use it for curing asthma too. Um, they will boil a, a certain um, proportion of the of the meat that's inside uh, with brown sugar, and that will, they will create like a like a jam like. And people that have asthma will eat, eat it. When you have a loose, when you have diarrhea, uh -huh, you have diarrhea. Scorpion tail. You call it scorpion tail because of this, you know. Uh huh. Provision bark tree. The bark is especially for um, helping the kidneys work better and, and also does uh, help the, for back, back pain. And this is a refreshing plant. Uh -huh. So you could have a... a you could uh, wet your head or have a bath with it entirely. Maybe a, an ounce, less than an ounce of water just to get it wet. You can use this for your face too, for, for the pimples, or like this, you know. The whole Would you put, put this on your face? Yes, you just yeah. rub it through it. What we do for, with when people have the, the pink eye, we'll, before we, we, we won't squeeze it like this, we have we, we are done, but we put it over the eye like, like this. It's a BSC that tree, hard, hard tummies, that um, still don't go like normally to, to the toilet, you know, you take the bark of this tree here, um, boil it and, and drink and drink the, the boiled water. Uh, talk about this uh, bread nut plant. So the, these are the bread nut seeds? Yes, these are the bread nut seeds, yes. And so what, what do you do? We, we boil them uh -huh. with a little salt and you can have them like that or, or mash them with a little water to make it like a mashed potato. Mm -hmm. No bay leaf tree, we call it Koshan in Maya. And um, the heart of it is anti-cancerous. And this is the leaf that the, the Maya used to making their traditional houses or indigenous plants or, or meals. You can see it's, it's, it's very different. One of the beaver grass. When they have beaver, mm -hmm. they will drink this uh, like, a, like a juice like, you know. Mm -hmm. Not hot, you know, because when you have a fever, you don't supposed to drink hot medicine. This plant is called um, sorosi. The young shoots, you could add it to salad. The leaves are, 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 are boiled and, and taken for, for um, tonifying the blood. The fruit. Both of them, this is open, this is not open. But this, uh, this, this part is, is, um, could be steamed. Sometimes when they have a, a rock rushes, they will drink the leaves and, and, and take a bath of, of the leaves also mm -hmm. to get um, rid of the, of the infection. You know, people with um, strong blood or high blood pressure shouldn't take it. This is a, it's a special plant for um, uh, purging the system. A handful of leaves and make a, a liter of water and bodies and drink that for a, for a day at least. You know. Pacaya, 
papaya or, or chip in Maya, um, we produce a, a pot that uh, will grow, grow to maybe an inch in diameter. These are young fruits that are starting here, you can see. And it's believed that it's a uh, anti-cancerous uh, food, you know. Copot leaf, uh, and it's called Obel in Maya. But it's an uh, anti-parasite uh, leaf, and it's, uh, it's also an ingredient for, for cooking meat. We taste it, see, sure, see what sure. it tastes like, like that? Sure. It tastes like aniseed. Mm. It's an uh, allspice tree produce a seed that have a value of maybe a hundred dollars for the hundred pounds and you get some air in your stomach then you, ha you make a tea of this mm -hmm. and it will ex this will expel the, 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 the air mm -hmm. also anti antiseptic uh, uh, also uh, anti mosquito because mosquitoes don't if you rub it on your skin they don't like the scent because it's too strong for them uh -huh. the, the purpose of these plants are um, for getting rid of stone in the blood uh, like kidney stones uh, kidney stones and then um, uh, what people do is root one of these one one plant and boil it in English is poly redhead well they say it's uh, good for a lot of things you know some some are hard leaves but this contains a lot of, of water and this is good, this is good medicine Wild, wild chaya is this one here. It is um, it, it's an edible leaf, yeah. but um, it, you need to be very careful of, of, of picking them. Yeah, little spikes. You see, I don't touch them. Don't, don't touch them. them. Don't touch them. <laughs> Please. Would they like a cactus that would stick into me? They will start to bite and eat. Green, green stick we call it. The green stick. Ah, uh, green stick. Arthritis or, or rheumatism. The tough ones like this to ha to make a bath. Yeah. A wild grape, we call it. Does it actually have grapes growing on? They, they have some very tiny ones, maybe in you know one centimeter in diameter. Uh -huh. you know? But they are they are good when they are ripe. This is the gombolimbo tree that's barking out. This could be turned into powder and used for um, sweaty feet, for back aches when we we have a strong back ache. Bark up a piece of the bark and then you boil that for. Uh, at least one 15 minutes or 10 minutes. You know. Cure for the poison wood? The poison wood tree. Sap that this um, come out from the bark and you put it on the on the affected area. Or you could boil the uh, boil the, the the bark and wash it with the with the water. So this is this is the poison wood you can see. Yeah, but uh, because of the black sap. Chi uh, chickens are getting sick from uh, some kind of um, I think wart, they come on their faces or mm -hmm. their head, you know. Um, people will take uh, uh, some sap of this and, and put five, I think about five drips to a gallon of water for the chicken to drink uh -huh. in their water. So it will make the, the warts fall, fall out. Uh -huh. We call it dog, dog stones for the, for the seed that resembles resembles something like that, you know. Um, uh, we You're saying it resembles dog's walls? Yes, <laughs> yeah, dog's okay. walls. <laughs> this is edible, you know, you could eat one or or two of them. But if you eat more than more than more than um, three, it will induce vomiting. Or the Maya used to do to put the sap with a cotton mm -hmm. and put it in the cavity, in a big cavity and it will shatter the make the teeth broken small pieces and uh, dark stone you see the the, the, the leaf yeah. the leaves but in, in Maya we call it anatomy for um, people who have um, chronic uh, colds well this is the acacia plant uh, this is a special special plant you know <laughs> it's got lots of ants on it <laughs> oh yes the ants are the protector of the tree like the little hole in this uh, spike they, here? Yeah, they, they build a hollow. They live inside there? Inside, in that, yeah. That little uh, hole there? Oh, mm -hmm. I can see him. Yeah, he's coming out. Mm -hmm. The larva of these ants, and they will boil it with a garlic and give give the people or the sick people that uh, have the asthma, asthma problem. Oh. The root is the is anti-poisonous to snake bites. Uh, some people call it Santa Maria, bitter leaf, especially for um, giving women after delivering their babies 
So they will give them to drink and to to wash in jackass bitters. Jackass bitters. Getting rid of losses in, in people's head, you know, like in children's head. Yeah. They will uh, boil the water and wash the children's head with using it for fresh colds. Uh -huh. Half an inch in length. Of the leaf? Of the leaf. Uh, with so a, little, a very little bit then? Yeah, very little bit and, 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 a, and a little slight piece of salt. It's good, good for curing also um, sores. Not only um, fresh cold and fever, you know. It's a very special wine. We call it the um, allspice wine, fresh in tea, but also medicinal um, for people who have uh, diabetes. Uh -huh. um, they should uh, soak it or, or or boil it and drink and make the tea like like um, in a on a daily basis to uh, get rid of. Uh, the sugar that they have inside. Mm -hmm.